to you again from Sue Stauber of Martha Garden today <clears throat> and it's the 15th of May 2023 and I've just come out I came out this morning done some watering I've been indoors all day so I felt a bit not too good a bit under the weather today so um, I've come out again now and I'm gonna do these seeds so I've just gone and got compost here and this is for the one last bed that Simon's just done. And I watered it this morning. So I'm gonna throw all these seeds in here and we're just gonna see how they go. Anyway, I'll just take um, Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these three, three lots of seeds. Well, there's six. So there's some in there, some in there, some in there. So I'm just frying them all in together and we're just gonna fry them in the bed like we did with all the other seeds. And we might just throw some poppies in there for good measure, we can find some poppies. Are these? Oh, yeah, yesterday, off camera, I sewed the dish out and we mixed the flower seeds in just like we did with all the others. So we put some crimson clover in there first. I need to go and take a rake over. I mean, these seem to germinate really well, so I'll do quite a few of those, just in case the rest don't take. <laughs> they probably won't. And never mind, we live in hope that this works. And then we'll just do these more expensive seeds. I hope it works, because otherwise I'm wasting money on doing all these seeds, just throwing them in the garden. Yeah. We live and learn. I just don't want to waste any because you don't get many. And how many to get in here? Not be any. And they all get stuck to these stupid plastic packets. Really not good. I think I've got them all out. Don't want to waste any. Well, like you can see outside, you know, I had one lun lunaria that came up last year after I sowed quite a lot and only one became a plant and it's absolutely stunning now. I just wanted loads of those, but never mind. The ones I've got in here are not coming up. They're still not coming up. And it's warm enough let make sure we don't leave any seeds behind in there. That's small. Right, that's that one done. Uh, yep. Oh, I'll show you the pond area in a minute and what Simon's done. Because he's nearly, he done it all yesterday, putting the rest of the rocks around it. It's basically done now. polytunnel like what's happening so down here uh, these are all right those things are growing whatever they are I'm not sure what they are still they're obviously something that I planted here quick look over this side coriander everything mizuna I actually picked some of that yesterday uh, we're starting to get some peas now I saw a pea earlier where did I see a pea? Over here. I saw one. Here. 
Here's a pea. So these are Mons 2 peas. So they're flat. So there we go. They're growing well. Good. Um, I'm going to let this um, parsley go to seed. I've got to sow some more parsley. Yeah, I must remember to do that. Under here are the rocket. Look, they're growing. Rocket. Under there, so everything's fine on the table. Yeah, I bought these yesterday. Oh, look at the nicotinia. It looks like I sprinkled them all in one place. How wonderful is that? Yeah, that's going to be great fun to separate those, isn't it? Anyway, uh, these salvia aren't growing. Oh, look, there's one. One. These violas have started. Nemesia, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm really sorry if I don't, don't pronounce things properly. Nemesia growing. These peas are all right, these sweet peas. Stock, night scented. The verbena that came plug planted is looking all right. Just needs to pick up a bit. Um, over here, the nasturtions that I, well, my own seed are growing well. These are starting to recover now after me doing that and then there's a foxglove in there that's reviving this little tree's fine this little poppy's reviving oh, there's another one of them oh this is the um evening primrose gets so dry in these pots i'll have to water that um basil's growing looking good pansies need water still not growing can't see any of them on the surface uh dill not growing yet might have to give these a water on the top. Asparagus. No. Nothing happening in there. Two evening primrose back there. Um, yeah, the fennel's looking good. Red barren onions. Can't see any sign. Uh, that's that side. These little trees are fine. Got to get this out in the garden. It's starting to flower. It needs to go in the garden. I'm going to go and put it around the pond, I think. Uh, leeks. Oh, they're starting to get the spears on. Oh, I need to take them off. We don't want them to flower. We need to get them out. Yeah, I was going to take out that leek there and that leek there. In fact, I should pull them now, shouldn't I? And we'll probably have them tomorrow for dinner because I've picked some more broccoli today. Purple Sprite and broccoli. So we could have leek and broccoli. Yeah. Anyway, over here, these are looking all right, aren't they? They've picked up, starting to grow good now. Uh, oh, look, the ball carrots has really taken off at the back there. So they need lots of water, these things. I have to keep remembering to water everything. Can't see any sign of the um, Romanesque, uh, what the Lolo Rosso uh, thing. Seeds, can't see any sign. Um, can't see any sign of rosemary. I think this soil is really cold. There might be some rosemary coming up. Tiny, tiny. Anyway, these are still alright. I've better water these. They're looking a bit dry. Um, nothing happening much here. Oh, hold on. I can see some cumin starting. Uh, borage, no. Just keep watering them. Make sure they don't dry out time no what's going on in here nothing absolutely zero bit waterlogged there oh dear on the old primroses uh the the oh there's something happening there there's something growing something growing there oh, i'll start in then so we just keep that going good these might start growing a root, who knows. Uh, French beans don't seem to be doing anything at all. American spinach is doing nothing. These sugar peas, we're going to put them down there. They're going down there in between the gaps, so they're going to be put out there soon. Uh, this is all going to seed this rocket. We're still leaving it there. These marigolds, I'm going to put a lot of these outside these and then put some more in here the romanesco is looking good looking good i think this garlic might be done what do you think oh anyway here's the rocket 
We've got more rocket coming up in here. Yep, there's some. And we've got some all going down that way too. And it is actually coming up now, I can see. Oh, i tell you what we need to do this week. Pot on these tomatoes. So once we get the pot and the sunflowers. Yep, and the beetroot. So the beetroot, sunflowers, tomatoes. And then once these get a little bit bigger, we'll pot them on. Sweet peppers, still nothing. I don't think they're going to grow. Um, these are looking all right. Better not keep watering them now because uh, geraniums don't mind being a bit dry. So they're not growing very fast. We'd better leave them alone. Uh, the Oregon melons are still looking all right. Don't want to saturate them too much either. So, yeah, the asters aren't growing. Hmm. Anyway, what's going on in these buckets? Is there anything happening here? Let's have a look. Anything? No, nothing yet. Early days. Early days. But we do have growth in these, don't we? As I showed you yesterday. Yep, there they are. Definitely coming up. Um... What's that at the end of the table? Oh, I can't see what it says. Poppies. Californian poppies not coming up yet. Um, all of the them plants aren't coming up. I've lost a couple. A couple died. In here, we're starting on this lettuce now. We started eating this lettuce now. Um, so I've been using that. And I need to take this Allison out for here. I was going to do it yesterday. But then Simon wanted to do around the pond. So I was doing loads of strimming around there yesterday. Well, loads, not loads, not much. Only 40 minutes. My strimmer only lasts 20 minutes each battery. Anyway, so I'm still going to take these out and all these sweet peas. And the basil's growing really well now, look. Put loads and loads of seeds in there. These are still all right. Everything's fine. Oh, the hollyhocks. Look, there's one there and there's one there now. They're coming up, good. Delphiniums, larkspur, starting to come up. Teasels, oh, there's one there coming up. Oh, oh that's good. Are they red spring onions? No. Summer savoury? No. Anyway, so it's not too bad, is it? Um, yeah, the courgettes are doing well. Look, they're growing really well in there. As are those, they're doing well. Strawberries getting loads of strawberries. Look at the strawberry plants. They're starting to get loads and loads. And some buttercups at the back. Look oh, at the strawberries though. Isn't that lovely? These are all going to come into flower. There's one coming into flower now. So we're keeping those in here this year. Oh, here's the comfrey that I done yesterday. I don't know why I put the 15th on here. I've done these both yesterday. Comfrey and marjoram. So we've just done them to this one has got nothing in it, this died. Uh, these are all alright, these leeks on the table and the cucumbers coming on well. Yeah, so they're getting their true leaves now. So everything's doing well in here so far at the moment. Anyway, so we're gonna go now. We're gonna go around to the other side of the garden and show you what what's happened around the pond so I've just been strimming for 20 minutes because that's all the strimming time you get before the battery runs out so I've got loads of bits in my hair probably from when I was strimming <laughs> anyway I just want to show you oh there's loads of bits it's all flicked up on my hair <laughs> oh how funny so I just want to show you what um Simon done just this minute and all the stuff he's done around the pond on Sunday which was yesterday so I just want to show you that and I've just strimmed around all the beds so let me Simon managed to use the other pipe that we've got um around the other side and connected it so now I can reach all the way to the back of the plot now uh, so I watered all them buddlers back there but look what Simon's been doing he's made this with all the stones that we're over here, all the earth, it's nearly got it all off, look, scraped it all up, got rid of all them rocks, we're going to put those probably over there, 
they've got to go over there because they're going to have to go and skip um, this stuff here. Uh, yeah, but look what he's done. Done all this. I just dug up this white one here out of the ground and washed it. So look at that. Pond's good. I need to get a little um, water feature. That's my next thing that I want to do. Um, and fill this up with lots and lots of little plants. So that's my next thing I'm going to do is fill this up. So tomorrow we're going to go and get the nasturtiums. And I've decided I'm going to put them around here. He still needs to find a piece of slate to cover up that up. I think there might be some over there. But look, I've just gone round all these beds with a strimmer. They were really high. So, and I've got loads of seeds in these beds and I've watered them twice today. But as you can see, there's millions of stones in here. So before I can grow anything in these beds, I'm going to have to go through them and just get out as many stones as possible. All this earth came from this pond hole when this pond was dug out it shows you how much stones we got and slate in the ground here but see the pond so all this earth is from there so nothing's gone to waste we're recycling everything um so we're making beds out of this earth with just cardboard and some earth then i've thrown a load of seeds in oh i want to show you the red clover that's coming up in here the red clover see look that there that is red clover and there's loads of it all over see i've got loads of red clover seeds so i can just put some more in loads more there right and in here is this the one i just did uh, no this is the one i just did see that one i can't walk on this because simon's gonna take hide some of this bed here we're going to make this bed a bit smaller so i don't know what's going on here but i'm not walking on that it's very lumpy anyway in this one is i uh, can't see any of the seeds coming up yet but i've got to water these twice a day because it's so dry around here and this is only topsoil so there's no um mulchy nice soil for the plants so that's the reason why i'm growing wild flowers this year and any hardy seeds really um because they're the only things that are actually going to grow in these beds. But, you know, I expect that the uh, crows and everything will have their fair share of the seeds. So if there's any left in there afterwards, we'll see. But that's what we're doing with these six beds. We've got six here at the moment. I'm not growing anything else in them right now because I'd have to put a load of nice compost on the top and I haven't got any at the moment and it's it's too late to get manure and everything I can't bother to do all that right now so that's the reason why I just want to sow some seeds in here for the minute uh, just some wild flowers and stuff so that's why I'm doing that I don't know what's going on with that bit of wood there anyway so I've just trimmed as much as I could I can't get that netting off because there's two great big lumps of um, bricks in the way and they seem to be really hard in the ground so I'll have to go and get a spade and lift them up tomorrow um, and I've watered all these beds again this one's got seeds in it as well this is a nice bed it's not horrible but I just thought I'd put seeds in all of them and then I've just planted the French sorrel over here I took off some of the leaves so that's the French sorrel in with the dandelion so there's dandelions in here whether they grow or not, I've probably eaten all the seeds, the birds. And in here are our main crop potatoes. But look, he's also done these today. So, he's done the rest of the hoops. So tomorrow, this earth is really good in here. So I'm trying not to disturb it until I'm actually going to plant straight into it. And you can see there how good the earth is, look. And took all the bits of wood out because we don't really want the wood around the sides because it encourages all the pests as we know and the potatoes are getting on really well now and these are the ones i bought from the shop which seems to be growing really quick and these are our ones we're going to be having soon now charlotte's and i love that little mound see what's under there so it's a sort of little wildflower garden with some plantain in it 
um, but under there is a tree stump so instead of like trying to shave the tree stump <coughs> it's better to make something out of it so you know it's there and you can just walk around in it makes a nice feature <coughs> anyway look at the garden so tomorrow I want to trim finish trimming around that and clear that bed I'm gonna just get rid of those um, plants out of there you know the dock leaves I'll just clear that myself do that and I might actually try and sort this bed out as well I'll, I'll see how I feel but I'll, I'll go and get the wheelbarrow and pile all that in there and then Simon can cart that away um, and then roughly this this area of the garden is going to be maintainable that's what we're trying to do is get this area of the garden looking good and then we can concentrate on the rest of the garden so it's, it's lawn mowed over there I, I went round the tree we might actually get some apples this year you never know anyway so that's good so that's all looking good um yeah the the trough thing that i bought for my sweet piece to go outside my door has uh, got a hole in it and also it looks like it's been burnt on the bottom so i'm actually going to take some photos of it and um complain to amazon because uh it's uh, got a hole in it so it won't really hold water but i'm just going to complain uh, They'll probably send another one. Anyway, let me just show you the apple tree because I think we're actually going to get some apples this year. Hopefully. Let me just show you. While oh, we're over here. Look, here we go. It's looking all tidy around here. Just a bit of mess there to clear up, but not much going on. But look, look at all the blossom. And I know you get leaf drop or whatever it's called. But I do actually think we might get some apples this year. I do actually think we might. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful? I haven't had one apple try to grow last year on here, but then it just fell off. But I've never seen as much blossom as I have done this year. But I did put this tree here as well, which is another apple tree. And tomorrow, oh yeah, I've watered this, but look, as you can see, you can see the roots at the top. So I've got to go and get, I think this is a red apple, red apple. Let's have a look. I'm sure it's red. Let's see if I can find one. I can't find one. Uh, some of these are falling off, so they're, I don't know if this is going to produce any apples, this one. It's a lot younger than that one. Anyway, I better sort it out before all these buds fall off and put it in a much, much bigger bucket. It's going to go in a bucket. So that one's going to go in the bucket. But this one, hopefully it's cross-pollinated with that one. Because otherwise the um, the buds will all just fall off if they haven't been pollinated. And then we'll never, ever, ever get any apples. What's that over there? Oh, it's a pheasant. Oh, he's big. Quite a big pheasant in the field there. What's that? Anyway, so there you go. So look at that. So tomorrow, we're going to put our brassicas in there. That's what we're doing. Hopefully, we've got enough netting. I'm hoping that's long enough. It should be. It's supposed to be 30 foot. So I'm hoping it's 30 foot long. So it stretches right across. That's not on there properly. I've only just sort of slung it on there to protect them brassicas at the minute. Um, I did take some of the brassicas out yesterday. And I sorted out the ones around the other side as well today. I uncovered them. <clears throat> and took another crop of purple sprout and broccoli. Anyway, let me turn the camera Around around. Grass. Things are coming on leaps and bounds. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, so this side of the garden is looking really, really, really good. So tomorrow I'm going to put the brassicas in over here, as long as it's not raining and it's not too cold. And um, the sun's starting to set now, so it's getting really cold all of a sudden. And we're going to put nasturtiums and the alisum round the pond tomorrow to get rid of that out of that bed. <coughs> but I can't get rid of the uh, sweet peas yet. Hmm. Because, uh, I'm, yeah, I need to take a photo of that thing. And uh, can't can't really send it back because uh, they don't really... It's broken. What's the point? So anyway, I'll probably just they'll probably just give me another one. But I'll, I'll, um, 
I'll try and reuse this one because oh, I will reuse it even though it's broken. Anyway, Simon also did the arches for me, took the bottom bits off. Oh, better pick up his um, saw. I can see his saw and mallet there. Better pick them up. Put them in the uh, house, in the thing. Pick them up. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to cut them around the other side and um, into the other part of the garden and then we're going to use them. I'm just going to use them. I don't know what I'm using them for yet, <laughs> but I will use them. So that's it. So I better go because I've got to take my sticks back and put them in the polytunnel. I'll just put this stuff in here. This lot's still out. Hello? <coughs> Hello? Oh yeah, that pot. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still going to use it. See, look, this is how it came. Like that. So I'm drilled out the holes though. But look, why is it mounted? And also, the leg is broken. You see that? The leg is broken. So I'm going to take some photos of that right now. And then um, I'm going to send them to Amazon. Okay. Anyway. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in the next video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now. Bye.